<laughs> That's what we need. As Hammond built his canvas hovel, James and I were looking forward to a more civilized evening in the tents we'd bought, and which had been erected by the butler we'd also bought. Thank you, Giovanni. Tuck your shirt in, man. It's not a bloody caravan site. Um, I'm just thinking dinner. Hmm. Do you mind if I get changed? No, exactly. I'm going to have a shower. Hmm. Well, I'm have a bath, actually. Why not? Giovanni, could you run the baths? <laughs> Apparently, this place has got oysters. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I know, it's extraordinary. Who knew? Lock fine. You coming for some dinner? What do you mean? Coming for some dinner? No, I'm cooking here, look. There's a restaurant just down there. A restaurant? Yeah, just down there. Well, I, I don't want to go in. I'm cooking this, I'm doing it properly, I'm camping. Well, come and... I'll join you after dinner. Whatever. He's such a peasant, isn't That's he? That's just unbelievable. That evening in the restaurant, Hammond never did join us. But James and I were not short of company. Oh, no, there's rhinos. There's actual rhinos. And they've been dehorned. They've had to take its horn out to stop poachers shooting it. But you know what the poachers are doing? They shoot the dehorned ones because if they track for a couple of days a rhino and then it's got no horn, they shoot it and then they'll never have to track it again, so it saves time. Do you know how much you get for a rhino horn now? On the, uh, on yeah, the market? in Vietnam. I'm guessing it's a lot. $320,000. So it's more expensive than gold. And even the nub that's left that he's got is still worth, I don't know, thousands of dollars. I was going to say, no matter how carefully you dehorn it, there's still horn going yeah. down into its nose. That's such a tragedy, that, you know. Yeah. I want to do something about this while we're here. I'm sure we could come up with something. I'm sure we could. <laughs> 